beautiful. All right. Um, so happy to be here. Today's going to be a really good one. Um, it's going to be a combination of a lot of things, and I think we're going to have a longer ab core session at the end. So two thumbs up for that. Um, you can definitely engage with me during this workout. In between sets, in between sets, when we're working out, let's make sure the microphone, we're all muted. Um, if you need to get my attention, you could speak to me or send a message. And um, let's do it. So also, also at some point in this workout, at some point in this workout, you're going to need a chair or a couch. And it's not for glute bridges necessarily. It's an upper body workout. So chair and couch equals no equipment. Okay. So we're going to do something called a hand swing. First things first. So So what we're going to do here is our hands start up. We're bringing our hands all the way in, all the way out, all the way in, all the way out. And we're not squatting. We are swinging down, bringing into our heels, and into our hips and our glutes. Breathe out on the way up. Going for 40 straight seconds here. Ready. And begin. Big breath, big breath in, big breath out, big breath in, big breath out. You don't have to go fast, you can go nice and slow. This is like a big breathing exercise here. So big breath. Flat back, big chest. And stop, shake it out, shake it out. We're gonna superset with another breathing exercise, like a back row, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna big, big breath in, right? Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Go hard with your breathing here. Go hard with our breathing, 40 seconds, ready? And begin. Twenty seconds. Reaching, big breath in, big breath out. Really get that diaphragm engaged. And stop. Big breath, big chest. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. So we're super setting these two breathing exercises here, right? And we're gonna go back to our hand swings. All right, let's do it. Ready? And begin. Breathe in on the way down, breathing out on the way up. Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out on the way up. If you have a dumbbell, you can use it. And stop. 10 second rest here. All right, ready. And begin. Right, lots of movement in my upper body here. Lots of movement. When you do this breathing exercise, Really be loose. Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out on the way up. Really squeeze those shoulders back. Ten seconds. And stop. Ooh, I'm, getting, I'm getting a nice little sweat early from these breathing exercises, so that's good. All right, in 10 seconds, doing it again. Last one, hand swings, back rows, we move on. Ready? And begin. 
nice and loose, nice and loose. If you're going with no weight, nice and loose here, all the way down your spine and your neck. And stop, big chest, shoulders back. All right, last breathing exercise here. Ready, and begin. Huge breaths. Make that diaphragm work. It's a muscle. Make it work. Make it stronger. Ten seconds. And stop. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're on a 20 second rest here. The next exercise we're going to do is something called swimmers. This is not new for us anymore. So we're going to get back on the ground. It's a good space for me. Okay. I'm going to angle the camera for you just a little bit. There we go. Okay. So swimmers are a variation of Superman's, but I like the a lot. So, hands straight, right? Legs spread, and we're rounding our arms, straightening our legs. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. So, as my hands are narrow, my legs are wide, and then they're both together on the back side. This is an amazing back exercise. So you should feel like your back is being shredded right now. Ready? And begin. <sighs> Breathe in on the way out. Breathe out on the way in. Breathe in on the way out. Breathe out on the way in. Almost there, 10 seconds. And stop. Good stuff. Good stuff. Going in 20 seconds. Yeah, you should really feel this in a good way in our back, right? Really good exercise there. Going again in 10 seconds. Ready. And begin. Thirty seconds. You burn. 10 seconds. You shouldn't be feeling this in your neck. And stop. Good stuff. I'm the only one whose head should be up looking at anything, right? I'm looking at the timer. You should be in a comfortable neck head position, loving this exercise. Okay? Going again in 20 seconds, last set. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Last set. Ready. And begin.
20 seconds. Ten seconds. Last one. And stop. Whew. That's a goodie. That is a goodie right there. Good participation today. It's all about. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit more rigorous right now. Okay, so now we're going to do a reverse lunge to a power skip. There's a lot of variations to this, guys, so don't, don't fret. The, the number one way we're gonna do this, though, with the most amount of intensity is this way, though. So we're gonna go reverse lunge, pop up. Reverse lunge, pop up. So when you pop up, you're going vertical. Going vertical. We're going 20 seconds each side. If you have trouble jumping, it's all good. Reverse lunges, so this is super knee friendly. So if you've got knee issues or you're not comfortable with it, just do reverse lunges. We're not doing much other jumping stuff or lunges, so just do that. Ready, and begin. And switch. And stop. Good stuff. So when we do this exercise, we're breathing in as we lunge and reach back. And then we breathe out as we come up, right? You're using the air as a push. So as an assistance, right? So that's how you think about breathing. It's you're using it to help you, right? <sighs> Go again in five seconds. Ready? And begin. Ten seconds. We switch. Switch. Begin. Ten seconds. And stop. Whew. Heart rate is up. That's good. Want the heart rate up. Going again in 10 seconds here. Ready. And begin. seconds. Switch. Begin. Ten seconds. Excellent job. Now we're going back on the ground and we're doing glute bridges. All right, so when we do our glute bridges, you can add resistance bands, weights, height elevation, right? A lot of you guys are pros in this class, right? So you mod, you do your modifications. Everyone else, we're down, legs bent. If you're new to this class, hands, on your glutes, drive through your heels, lift your toes up, 
Breathe out on the way up. Nice and hard. Your glutes are nice and hard here. Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out on the way up. That means they're working out. 40 seconds. Ready. And begin. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Hold it, squeeze, 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 and down. Woo. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, I'm going to use a resistance band for this next set, right? I also added a new band to my arsenal. So, you've got medium black resistance bands or gray heavy resistance bands. So, two kinds, right? I'm going to use my gray heavy. We're going to go again. Ready. And begin. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Ah. And stop. Whew. Good stuff. Good stuff. Make sure you're getting a stretch in between. If you've got a piece of equipment, you can add it. Going in 20 seconds here. So a little rest. Last set, and then we're on a water break. Okay? So we're getting a water break in 10 seconds here after our set, which is in 7 seconds. So this set, then water break. Ready? And begin. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. And stop. Oh, see, you know, I was barely moving while doing that, and my glutes were on fire, right? That's such a good exercise. You just have to learn how to activate the right muscle, and that's all it comes down to. So, good stuff, everybody. Good stuff. Water break. Let's get a water break right now. Let's go. Enjoy that. You earned it. All right, we're not done with the water break yet, but now is the time to start getting your chair or your couch because this is considered no equipment. You've got a chair or a couch in your home, guaranteed, okay? This is a good tricep exercise that you can do, no excuses anytime. So we're doing overhead tricep extensions. Okay, so this is gonna be my chair. We're coming back, by the way, everybody's come back from your water break. So, you can use the back of a couch, like you can use the back of a couch, the back of a chair, whatever is sturdy. 
I want you to bend your elbows and I want you to go below the seat, right? What we're doing is we're bending our elbows or extending up. We're breathing in on the way down, breathing out on the way up. Okay? Ready. And begin. I want to complete that full range in motion. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. And stop. Good work, right? Really feeling this in the tricep. Let's give ourselves a bit of a tricep stretch here. Keep our arm locked. Switching sides. Yeah, it's a really good exercise. There's a whole world of exercises we haven't even done, which is kind of hard to believe, but it's literally chair workouts. Like when I consider no equipment, I really do consider like couch and chair as no equipment, right? So this is definitely susceptible for future chair exercises. Let's do it again. Ready? And begin. The only real exception is if someone is doing this workout live stream on data outdoors, which is something I absolutely encourage. So if you are someone who's in an outdoor space and you're living the jam and fitness way, the way it's supposed to be done, let me know so I can give you a variation. Almost there and stop. Yeah, so I always encourage people to do these workouts anywhere. Any environment, the beach, outdoors, mountain, beach, doesn't matter, right? These are recorded and live stream. You don't need Wi-Fi, right? So that's the only exception to not having a chair or a couch in that situation, which is dope, right? Don't got to buy a treadmill, a mirror, a bike, none of that stuff. All right, last set, ready. And begin. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Okay, this one's gonna be tough, guys. This is gonna be a tough one. Okay, we're gonna do a single arm pike static hold. So we're not doing pike push ups. So we're not bending the arm, but we are straining the arm and we are holding an isometric position. Okay, so we're on our, we're, we're up nice and tall, butt is up in the air, right? But we're gonna lift one arm off the ground and hold for 20 seconds. So really lock in here, 20 seconds, each side, ready, and begin. Switch. Ten seconds. And 
down. So I really like that one because when we do regular pike push-ups, it's really targeting our triceps. But when we do that hold, when we're holding that isometric position, I feel that in my shoulders. So I'm purposely targeting this for my shoulders here. But we are gonna go back to triceps when we finish this. Ready, and begin. Switch. Ten seconds. And down. Good work. Good work. 20 seconds. Excellent stuff, guys. Last set, ready. And begin. Ten seconds. Switch. Ten seconds. Down. Excellent. All right, guys, we only have two more upper body exercises, and I'm going to hit you guys with core the rest of the day. All right, so we're going to do Cali tricep extensions now. Okay, I love triceps, guys. I think they're fucking awesome, men and women. Okay, biceps are kind of silly, triceps are where it's at. But on our Forearms, okay? We're extending up, breathe in, breathe out. Just like when we did the chair overhead tricep extension, nice bend, a nice bend. You wanna be able to be able to bend all the way back. This is how you stretch out your tricep. It's this bend right here. Ready? And begin. Keep your elbows in as well. I want you to keep your elbows in. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. And stop. Good stuff. I want to point out one thing real quick while I got my 30 seconds, is when you feel, ten, when you're doing tricep exercises, and if you feel something right here, like right there, that's your tricep. This is your tricep. And until this space is, is stronger, it's going to feel like your elbow. That's because your tricep's connected to your elbow. But that's not an elbow problem. That's not an elbow problem. Okay? Ready. And... Begin. <sighs> Twenty seconds. Ten 
10 seconds. And stop. Whew. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're going to do one more set here. We're going to do one more set. Ten seconds. Ready. And begin. Keep your elbows in, guys. We're keeping them in for this variation today. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. And stop. Whew. Love that exercise. I love it. All right. Last upper body exercise. We're going to do isolated shoulder raises. Okay. So nice T position, only moving up and down a couple of inches, a couple of centimeters, nice and tight. If you don't use weight, more maintenance. If you want to add weight, I recommend light weight. Light weight for this. Even if you're strong, I would not be doing heavy weight for this. Or only be doing lightweight. Ready. And begin. Thirty seconds. Keep those shoulders back. Keep that chest up. Whatever you, whatever it takes. Keep that chest up. If you're a winner, if that chest is high. Ten seconds. Down. Whew. Good stuff. Good stuff. Go stretch across. All right. Go again. Ready. And begin. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. And stop. Whew. It's stuff. Last set here. Last set. Going again in ten seconds. Ready, and begin. Dig deep here, folks, dig deep. It's mind over matter, it's all in the head. Just push through, 20 seconds. Ten seconds. And down. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, we're doing core the rest of the day. Okay, we're gonna do one core exercise, hit a water break. Rest of the time, we're, we're going live. So we're doing a good old-fashioned sit-up here. 
okay? But when we do our sit-ups, okay, I want a nice arch in our lower back as we reach back. So breathe, so reach when you're down here, the full back motion is a slight arch in here, crack open the core. Before you do anything else, you breathe in, breathe out, flatten your back on the mat, tighten your core, reach up, crack open, breathe in, breathe out, up, 40 seconds, ready, and begin. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. And down. Good stuff. I hope you're wrapping your head around the arching your back, fully cracking open. Breathing in, breathing out, tightening your core, bringing your back up, sliding up, right? These are all meticulous details that make the exercise just so much better. Instead of doing 30 minutes of exercising and wasting your time, 30 minutes of effective workouts that take you step by step up, not hamster wheel. Let's do it. Ready? And begin. You want to have the mindset with fitness of every single workout you do, you are taking a step upward and you are progressing. If your workout routine feels like if you're just on a hamster wheel, round and round you go, that's not good. That's not good. You can get stronger and better after every single workout. And that's the attitude and strategy you want to have. 10 seconds. And stop. Right? Or you have a lot of confidence and you really just want to maintain your body. But, like, that's what your goal is. Right? Your goal is to maintain and stay healthy. Right? If you have that skill and that knowledge, then you don't need to have that same attitude as step by step. Because then that's kind of a conscious just maintenance. So you're either consciously maintaining or you are progressing upward two ways of doing it ready and begin Twenty seconds Ten seconds. And stop. Great work, everybody. We're on a one minute water break. Go get your water right now. All right, everybody, we're uh, getting back to the mat. Let's do it. So now we're going to do core twists. We're going to do core twists here. So I want everyone's feet on the ground for this first set. Slide it up, slightly bent, feet up off the ground. We're going to then rock back until you feel like your core is being held up. And then if you either got weight or your hands, we are twisting. For this version, we're going to go more flowy, more flowy, back and forth. I want you to do streamlined breathing. So that means breathe in for as long as you can. <gasps> breathe out for as long as you can. 
And when you're breathing out, tighten your core the whole time. 40 seconds. Ready? And begin. So these are not short breaths. These are long breaths. Ten seconds. And stop. All right now, wrinkle. Okay. Now we're in the same seated position, except now we're not going floating. Now we're staying center, and we go breathe in, breathe out, twist, reset. Breathe in, breathe out, nice and tight, twist, reset. When you do the twist, you hold your breath and then reset at center. Ready, and begin. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. And stop. Right? So you should feel the clear difference between variation one and then variation two. Okay? So for third set, we're going to go back to variation one to practice our streamlined breathing, our bigger breaths in, bigger breaths out. Ready, and begin. And stop. Whew. Good stuff. Good stuff there. All right, now we're going to do plank twists. We're going to do plank twists. So now we're going to be in a plank forearm position here. Okay, we're on our forearms, right? And we are twisting our hips. I want to see a really big twist, though. So imagine there's a line running down the center of you. I want your hip pointer to turn and touch the line. Hips turn, touch the line. 40 seconds, ready. And begin. Breathe in and breathe out at center, twist. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. And stop. Woo. So for the next variation, now we're going to do more flowy, right? So what we just did was we breathed in, we breathed out, then we twisted, reset. Now we're gonna go back and forth, back and forth. Big breaths in, big breaths out. More flowy here. Ready? And begin.
couple more seconds. And stop. Good stuff. For variation three, we're gonna go back to the first version. We're gonna practice our breathing, our short breaths. Okay? Going again in 10 seconds here. Ready. And begin. One second. Ten seconds. And stop. Good stuff. Feel nice and good in the core here. We should be feeling tight should be feeling tight, okay? Now we're gonna do bird dogs, okay? We're gonna do bird dogs. So, never really understood why it's called a bird dog, but I think actually like, I guess this position looks like, like a certain kind of dog, I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna be at all fours, hands and knees, we're lifting opposite arm, opposite leg, and we're gonna hold this position. So the arm and the leg that are on the ground, I want you consciously pushing into the ground. So arm and leg pushing into the ground. I want you in a nice flat position. Ready? And begin. Switch. Ten seconds. And down. All right, I'm going to up the time on that. We're going to go thirty seconds each pose. Really press your hands and your feet into the ground, make it a full body experience. Going again in 15 seconds. Ready. And begin. Ten seconds. Switch. And down. Good stuff. That was good. We've got one more time here, folks. We're going to do it one more time. We're actually have a shorter break while we do this. We're going to go again in 10 seconds. We're going to get in 10 seconds. Ready. And begin. Ten seconds. Switch. 
switch. Ten seconds. And down. Nice work. Nice work. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Let's stick it through. All right. So now we're going to go single leg leg lift. Okay. We're going to be down on the ground. We're going to have one leg anchored like this, other leg flexed, and we're extending up. So when you keep your foot flexed and straight, you really feel it in your hamstrings on the back here, but your core too. So hamstrings and core, 20 seconds each side, ready. And begin, breathe in on the way down, breathe out on the way up. We're gonna do 30 seconds each side here. 15 more seconds. If you have ankle weights, this is money and switch. Begin. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. And stop. We're only giving ourselves a quick 20 second rest here. And we're going 30 seconds each side. If you have ankle weights, good challenge here. If you don't, it's all good. It's all good. Ready. And begin. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. And switch again. Ten seconds. And down. Good stuff. For the third and final set here. Let's see. What is time looking? Oh, we got one more exercise, no doubt. So, so, so if you're someone who you can do the first or second exercise if you don't want to do this version. So don't feel like you have to do this version. We're gonna go both legs off the ground the whole time. 40 straight seconds. And one more exercise for the day. Ready? And begin. Breathe in on the way down. Hold it. One, two, three. Breathe out. Right? If you're doing the single leg version, it's all good. It's all good. Twenty seconds. And down. Woo. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, guys, so last exercise of the day is a tabletop press, okay? This is a core exercise. So we're on our ground. We're in tabletop position here. I'm pressing my hands into my quads, and then my quads are pressing back, feeling this the whole body. Ready? And begin. Really squeezing your hands into your, your quads, quads into your hands. 
Take this seriously. This is working our deep core. Our deep core, just build strength around our spine. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. And down. So what I like to do to make that a little more effective is I like to actually physically push my hand up my quads through my hands so that my hands are actually being pushed back. And then I push them back forward. But I actually do that in a really small window. So it looks like this, right? So if anyone's paying attention to this detail, I, it's really slow. I'm pushing my hands back, hands forward, and that actually makes you really know you're doing it. Ready, and begin. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. And down. Last set of the day, guys. Last set of the day. Stay focused. Take this one seriously. Going again in 10 seconds. Now we're all set. Ready. And begin. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Almost there. Push harder. Push harder. Don't stop. And down. We're all set, everybody. Let's give ourselves a big round of applause. Thanks, Just Benny. Like Thank you. Thank you. See everybody next time. Next class is Tuesday. Tuesday.